Okay, well, with me this morning to look at media company earnings, including Viacom, Time Warner, and Disney, which are going to be later this week, as well as Sumner Redstone's theater auction, is longtime industry watch reporter Bib, managing partner of Media Tech Capital. And Porter, always great to see you. Good morning, buddy. Uh, you were just listening in on that conference call with Sumner Redstone right. and Philippe Dalman. Not a whole lot yeah. of news coming out of that. Well, the, the big news was that Phil Doman went 180 degrees in the opposite direction. Last quarter, he said advertising is uh, improving. We're going to have a great new quarter. And now he's saying the global economy is still in, in the black hole. Well, what do you think's changed? Nothing. And all he's doing, I mean, he had a terrible report, 30% right. 30, 30 down and missed the, the streets analysts' uh, estimates on, on uh, profits per share. But he, he, he gave a lot of nothing. And the real issue overhanging Viacom right now is succession. Mr. Redstone is 86 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, Doman mentioned that he's going to bring new energy, new talent into the company, but it's the it's succession. Who's leading? Who's running the show? That's the real question. Right, and Sumner has refused time and again to to essentially speak on this subject or talk much about it. Or well, he's it, been a little preoccupied. He's yeah. got some serious problems with lenders, and, and as you know, they're auctioning off uh, his theater chain, the, the National Amusements, and uh, uh, that that could bring as much as forty or fifty billion dollars. But even if he sells off those chains and he raises money from right. from selling the U.S. and the British movie theaters, his problems though are far from over, right? Far from over, yeah. And, and he's still uh, distanced from Sherry Redstone, who's who remains vice chairman of both CBS and, and Viacom, and and is unhappy that uh, he's stripping her of her theater assets mm -hmm. through this auction. Without a clear succession plan, who's gonna who's going to succeed Sumner Redstone? Uh, well, actually, let me ask it in another way. Yeah. With a succession plan, do you think the stock would shoot up then? I, I do, and I think that uh, he may consider, Mr. Rudson may consider rolling back the bad move he made three years ago when he separated CBS and Viacom, putting them back together and, and letting Doman and Les Moonves fight it out for a succession would, would certainly excite the street and put some energy and, and new, new talent into Viacom. Now, Viacom, though, is not the only one suffering from <laughs> poor ad sales. <laughs> Right. So, what can it do specifically, though, in order to, in, in order to, essentially, you know, serve a jolt into that? Well, the, you know, here, here they have uh, some fabulous assets. Uh, MTV is the is the brand in music, and they let the whole iPhone, uh, i iTunes business get away from them. They they've basically got out of the music video business. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a great opportunity for e-commerce if they get back in seriously, because they they are the global standard. They've also let their international operation on MTV, which which at one time was uh, unequaled, uh, just dissipate. They're, they're not anywhere. To, you can't recognize them in China, in India. They're, they're besieged by local competitors in Europe and mm -hmm. Latin America. They need to look at the global picture again and, and rev up their brands. They have some great brands. Well, what would that mean, essentially, reversing course on all of those problems you just talked about? What would that? What would well, be the solution? Uh, Judy McGrath is running the, the MTV networks, and I, I'm not sure she's a content producer. And Doman said we're going to create new content. It's not new content; it's new business model. They, they need to get into something that's going to generate revenue beyond advertising. Okay. Now, another company. We only have a little yeah. bit of time, but another company that is also facing troubles is Time Warner. The big question <laughs> is, what is Time Warner going to do with all that cash that they got from the Nine cable? Nine billion spinoff? dollars yeah. is burning a hole in. Jeff Bucus's pocket. Uh, well, he, he he bought back and not being added to shareholders' pockets. No, he he bought back AO, AOL, uh, the part that Google owned, um, and I don't know who else is going to be a buyer of AOL when they finally get to spinning it off. But he he's also got a serious problem with the magazine division, Time Inc. It's the world's greatest aggregation of of magazine titles and brands. They're not working right now and they're losing their shirt and there's a lot of rumor inside the company that maybe they're going to spin out Time Inc. as well. But there's uh, so much goodwill value in those brands though. Those that, are huge brands. Shouldn't they just hold on is, to them? That's, that's the whole conundrum that's going on right now. Some of these managers of media conglomerates are trying to figure out whether it's better to hold or to sell. And right now, uh, holding is much better because nobody knows what's going to happen in the next couple of years. Okay, Porter, always great to see you. Thanks so much. Talking about media, uh, never really a pleasant conversation because the media industry always sounds like it's dying even though we're well, a part let, of it. Let, but... Let's part on, on Disney's big surprise of the summer up. <laughs> right, okay, so parting on some good right. news, Porter. Thanks so much, Porter Bibb of Media Tech Capital. We're